Hello, welcome to the audio slide of our recent research. I'm Navi Jadid Olaslam from Istanbul Technical University and I will talk about our paper which is entitled as Wave Power Potential Assessment of Agency with an Integrated 50-Year Data. I hope you enjoy this presentation. In this study, wave characteristics of agency were modeled with Mike 21 sw Validation of the model took place by nine different wave buoy stations for one year time span and gave high agreement between measured and simulated data. Consequently, 15 year mean, seasonal, and monthly analyses are conducted in this study. Also, wave power variability studied for four different bands near Turkish coast. And finally, study region is investigated with 10 reference points for deeper knowledge of the wave behavior in this basin. Locations of these stations, which are used for validation of the model, are highlighted with the red squares in figure shown in this slide. Calibration of the model with nine different wave stations resulted in high correlation between measured and simulated data. In the next step, validation of the model was done for one year period in most of the cases. Comparisons were done for significant wave height and mean wave period and matching of the data is shown in this figure. Sources of coastline, bathymetry, wind, and wave data are given in this slide. You may refer to the paper for more detailed information on the validation of the model. Temporal analysis of the study domain gave useful information about the most powerful points for the study domain. Considering 15-year mean wave power, the most powerful points are located in the middle parts of the study region. According to the monthly analysis, maximum and minimum wave power potential of the study domain occurs in February and May, respectively. Furthermore, the seasonal analysis shows that the locations of the maximum points shift from summer to fall and winter to spring. Study on four parallel bands to Turkish coast demonstrate that by going further from the coast, the wave heights and wave powers increase. The magnitude of mean significant wave height in fourth band is nearly two twice as first band. Also mean wave power in the last band is threefold of the first band. Spatial analysis conducted with 10 different points in the study region and wave roses of these points show that waves are mostly in north, west, in south, north, in middle, and northeast, in the northern part of the agency. Also, the results of the wave direction is in accordance with the wind data analysis. Moreover, Yearly wave power scatter diagrams of significant wave height versus energy period for each point is derived. Maximum mean wave height of 0.96 meter and maximum mean wave power about 5.2 kilowatt per meter is observable in the middle part of the agency. Most of the coasts are facing the shading effect which prevents higher waves propagate to near shore with their full energy. Therefore, most energetic points in the domain are located in the offshore. The most powerful waves in, are in February, reaching a wave power potential of 9 kW per meter. In contrast, the least powerful waves occur in June and August. Also, the spatial mean wave power in each month show that most and least powerful months are February and May, respectively. According to the seasonal analysis, mean wave power magnitudes are higher in winter compared to the other regions, and least wave power in the star region occur in summer. Point 3, 4, 8 have a relatively high wave power potentials throughout the year according to the 50-year wave data. Also, the highest annual energy is observed between 1.5 to 3 meter wave heights and 4.5 to 6 seconds energy periods. Thank you for your attention. You may refer to the original paper for detailed results and discussions. Thank you.